me and Nick decided to do a different kind of playthrough, where we don't do modded bosses, but just modded classes to absolutely destroy our enemies. In this tutorial playthrough, I am the beekeeper class, and Nick is the clicker class. Sort of. Instead of using any kind of weapons like a yo-yo, a bow, a staff, or a freaking baby slime to obliterate your enemies by covering it in its basically what it's... Piss, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be using bees and Nick is gonna be clicking his enemies. But something happens to Nick later on and I will explain it when it happens. Nothing bad happens exactly, in fact it benefits both of us, he's still in the game so yay. But anyway, I'm gonna be using the power of bees to destroy my enemies and we're gonna see if we can make it all the way to the Moon Lord. The playthrough started off like any other playthrough. We spawn in, I send Nick an invite, and we pick the color class we want to be. We decide to be yellow because bees and honey and stuff. As it turns out, when you're the beekeeper class, you use this thing called honey. It's a bit like mana, but it regenerates unbelievably slowly. Of, uh, but the higher the honey is, the faster it regenerates, so it's not too bad. If you start off... And the B thing is, the B mod is already installed. You start off with a weapon already. Basically, it just shoots homing bees. It doesn't do too much damage, and it was pretty weak, but it's better than nothing. We open up our bags and put on the armor and accessories that it gives us. There were no uh, class starter bags that benefited either of our classes. So... We just picked the warrior one because it gives us bombs and healing potions and iron skin potions and an extra heart. So might as well just use what we have, I guess. I used some wood by chopping down some trees to make Nick a clicker weapon, which does no damage, but it's better than nothing, right? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> it becomes nothing later on. Um, swords, right? Instead of selling them, oh, I, I threw just... a bomb. What oh, shit? I thought I was, I thought I had my bees selected. Dude, we suck. After accidentally almost blowing up my only friend that I have to play games with me at the moment, I go ahead and mine some stone and take some pollen, which can drop from enemies randomly when you kill them, which is very nice, so I actually have a very good supply of them by the end of the game. I make the stone honeycomb, which is basically the honeycomb that you start off with, but it's a lot slower, but it does decent damage, so it was definitely a needed upgrade. After that whole situation with explosives and bees and rocks and whatnot, we go mining trying to find some loot that we could use to make other weapons. I desperately wanted the flare gun because that could be turned into something called the honey flare gun which was absolutely insane but I did not find it and now I'm sad. After all that mining and stuff like that, I actually found an enchanted boomerang, which could be used with honey blocks and stuff like that, and pollen, to make a beamerang, which is actually a very cool weapon. It's basically a boomerang that uses honey, hence the name beamerang, but every single time it hits an enemy, bees fly out, and of course they're homing, so it's, so it's my best weapon. Now that I had some pretty decent weaponry, it was time to go deeper into the world to try and find materials to get Nick some decent weaponry, which was very, 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 very difficult. In fact, I actually ran into a granite biome, which, unless you're playing Thorium, isn't something you want to find, but I opened up a chest and there was the flare gun! Can you believe it? Um, a biome that typically has, uh, mid-tier gold chest items? Like, not from the dungeon, I mean, so we'll probably have like a double jump, Hermes boots, stuff like that, maybe a magic mirror. Which, now that I think about it, we didn't find a magic mirror at all this playthrough. But, the worst thing you can possibly find in the chests, apart from the climbing claws and spike boots, I guess that's what they're called. Um, 
that I actually wanted the worst thing <laughs> that you can find in there, the worst ranged weapon in the game. But that's because the gun is bad, but you can combine it with some pollen to make the most overpowered pre-boss weapon you will ever see in the history of the world and bees alike. After we got new weapons and stuff like that, and a tiny bit of health and a stylish new umbrella hat, <laughs> We decided that it was time to fight the King Slime, because we have a mod where m bosses drop hearts and stuff like that, like crystal hearts and life fruit, depending on what point you are, you are in the game, and we couldn't find crystal hearts anywhere, so we thought that we would be able to kill the King Slime, and guess what? The flare gun was absolutely insane against this guy. Like... It did so much damage, it was incredible. I feel bad for Nick, he couldn't do anything. I mean, I carried that entire fight. And I understand that the clicker class would be bad because a gold clicker did only five damage. It was sad and it was it was it's not a good class. I don't exactly recommend it. Anyway, here's the live commentary. Okay. Try not to get cocky. Oh it's my god! Food. What? What? Look at his health! Are you seeing this? You're gonna have to use your grapple hook, but never mind. Ouch. <laughs> Are you seeing that damage? <laughs> I'M OUT OF HONEY! Yeah. NO! I'M OUT OF HONEY! Dude, look at the damage! I do four damage. You will get better. How do you think I feel? Once we kill the Eye Cthulhu, you'll be able to get a clicker that does damage. Oh my gosh! That damage was insane! What is this? Oh my god, I got a- I got a weapon! I, I got a weapon from that. And the slime stuff, and the saddle, and the hook. So as you can see, the honey flag gun was absolutely incredible. It completely destroys everything. And it even has a hard mode upgrade to it, like the Zappinator. But after we killed the King Slime, I got a weapon called Gelatinous... Uh, I think it's gelat gelatinous honeycomb. I don't know. Slime bee. <laughs> it fires slimes fairly quickly, actually, and it doesn't use too much honey. But the main thing about it is when it hits an enemy, slime balls fall from the sky and deal additional damage. It's a little bit difficult for them to hit things that are constantly moving, but it's a pretty decent weapon. The flare gun was still better, but <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good weapon. And I said multiple times while I was using it that it was a little bit like a slime Daedalus Stormbow. After killing the King Slime, I found out about a weapon that wasn't the best, but it was a pretty good weapon to swap to and then swap back to my main weapon. Where it, I can't remember what it's called, I can never remember what anything is called. <laughs> but it's basically the Honeycomb. Like the one you start off with, but you throw the honeycomb and it lobs, and then when it hits something, bees fly out of it. And if they hit anything, then uh, it sets the enemy on frostburn. It gives the enemy the frostburn debuff, so you can swap to that, give them frostburn, and then swap back to your main weapon. It was a decent weapon, it's just not my first choice. Nick was actually having an unbelievably difficult time with the clicker class. He did barely any damage, and we found out that the best pre hard mode clicker, the one that he would have to use against the Wall of Flesh, only did 12 damage. So I uninstalled the clicker mod, and I actually got the aura class mod, whatever it's called. So Nick changes his class. And I'm only making an exception for this because it was unbelievably 
weird how little damage he was able to do with the Kalika class. So he became a class that was just as overpowered as the Beekeeper class. So don't yell at me. Shortly after the King Slime fight, our ego got way too high and said, why don't we try and kill the Eye of Cthulhu as well? Nothing went wrong, but we do tend to get cocky a bit. However, with Nick having to change his class, it took a little while for us to get him back up on his feet. I believe he got the Golden Aura and this radiator thing. I can't remember what it is, but it shoots things. It's a little bit confusing, but now we're ready for the Eye of Cthulhu. I don't have buffs. Oh, I don't no. know where I went. Wait, I because my game. I I gave it to you. No, because my game crashed. Wait, really? Oh no. <laughs> okay, not bad, but who needs that when you got the honey thingy? Why is he green? <laughs> because of mine. Why? <laughs> you feeling a bit sick? I'm <laughs> green. He is all. Your aura just ripped those things to shreds. I am out of honey. Who needs Ow. any weapon Ow. when you got the honey uh -oh. flare gun? Look at that. Oh my god. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna set for you on frostbite because I need to get my honey to regen. Can you take? Can you distract them real quick? I need to hear. All right, my honey's at full. About the I. Ow. Uh, what? Bro. Uh oh. We might lose. Uh -oh. No. Yes. Yes. I got. Yeah. Beating the Eye of Cthulhu gave us the well-needed dash, I don't know if I said that right, but it also gave me this thing where if I equip it, sometimes when I use a B weapon, a weird Servant of Cthulhu would come out and home towards enemies, which, because I constantly fired so damn quickly with a lot of my weapons, it was a much-needed damage boost. Are you even doing it for me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we went to fight the Edo of Worlds, and I only have one thing to say. Aura is way too overpowered against worms. Let me heal. I'm healing. why we need jet boots. Jesus Christ! The damage is insane! See, I told you, Aura is godly. I'm out of honey. Okay, my desk things on my desk are starting to plug up. The damage is insane. I missed. I missed. I missed. I didn't miss. Okay, now we split again. There's an undead. Bye, Romeo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> stay there, stay there, I'm gonna tell my back, I'm gonna tell <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, every boss in the game has a drop that has something to do with the beekeeper class. And the Edo of Worlds demonstrates this as well because the Edo of Worlds drops this gun thing which shoots out bees 
and sometimes those like mini eaters that come out of the scourge of the corruptor you know, you know that spear that you get from the corrupt chest that you throw it and there are like these homing things everywhere those are in this and it's a fairly good weapon but i still think my flare gun is better our ego is back and it is telling us to steal the children of the queen bee all i'm gonna say oh, wait. come on you bitch <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! She's green. She's lying. <laughs> a flying green bee. It's Plague Bringer. Look at this. We made Plague Bringer in the Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at Much damage! Holy shit! Look at this! Ow! She needs to be turned green! Yes. Oh! Clearly our ego was right. Killing Queen B actually dropped an improvement to the Shield of Cthulhu. Instead of having to dash into something to be able to do damage, you dash and then bees fly out everywhere and home in and deal damage. So, that was a much needed upgrade, because I'd never actually dash into things when I'm using the Shield of Cthulhu, but it would be very nice to every single time I dodge, I do a little bit more damage, and I actually keep that on for the rest of the playthrough. We didn't actually have Ego this time, we just felt ready to fight Skeletron, because we wanted access to the dungeon to get stuff that actually doesn't help. We didn't get much of anything, but who cares, here's the fight. Now I have to wait for my honey to go. Oh. I was wondering where the other hand was. Yeah, me too. I was like, bro, is he an amputee? Die, Mario. Yeah. I am running out of honey. Kill the hand before I run out of honey. Kill the hand before I run out of honey, please. Yes. First bud. <laughs> <laughs> Heal. <laughs> That's what I'm saying right now. How is he taking damage? Oh, every time I smash, bees come out. I, I don't have to shoot a Cthulhu one anymore. I have this this thing uh, dropped by the Queen Bee that allows me to dash. and every, it's, The dash isn't as good as the shield of Cthulhu, but every time I dash, bees come out. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna move back. I'm big. Go here. But you're gonna die. Healing version. Go heal. Quick. <laughs> no way, bro. That's luck. Die by my flares. Yeah. <laughs> This guy doesn't drop weapons that benefit either of us, I don't think. No, he got me a weapon. Jesus Christ, do, does every single boss have a beekeeper weapon? After that, we explored the dungeon, but we didn't get anything. So we actually went down to hell in order to mine Hellstone to get a bunch of loot. And it turns out that there is actually a weapon that Nick can get. I can't remember what it's called, but it is unbelievably powerful. And I also got him the magnifying glass, which is the magnifying glass plus Hellstone. Get it? Magnifying glass. Oh, I made City Buster. They just destroyed the house and the arena. Fuck! Are you kidding me? I made City Buster accidentally! I just destroyed the fucking house! What the- No! Oh, 
Oh. I've got to build this thing from scratch now. Who's Thanks. Be trusted with this shit. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Nick had to rebuild the entire house from scratch while I was mining. So, as an apology to him, we made this deal uh, that, that he would forgive me if I put that in the video. So, yay! <laughs> it's probably the dumbest thing I've ever done in Terraria. I blew up the entire house trying to make a, a elevator. But anyway, after the house was finished, we decided to fight the Wall of Flesh as the final battle for this video. Trying to concentrate. I know, you need to get so close and so bad for you. But I also feel good for you because boy, you do a lot of damage. Uh oh. Get him. Dude, if I can. I, I can't. If I, no, I can't. Do it, if I can get my sword, this thing is easy. It does great damage. It's a very different thing. I can't heal for a while. I can't hear up to 10 seconds. I said that with an accent. That was weird. Ow! Oh no, I have like 40... Oh my god, I took a healing potion with like 40 health. There's 5,000 health Since I came back, I think I've, I've done a thousand damage since I've come back. You know what? Make him green! <laughs> oh my mind. Oh, that no. was worth it, actually. That was worth it. Did it do good damage? That was so worth That was so worth the damage, I think. Okay, if it was good damage, then it was. Die! Get him, bees! Yes! Let go! Let go! Magnet. I got a loot magnet. Let magnet. go. PhD. So anyway, that's the end of part one of this playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed, and part two will be up fairly soon. I will see you all in the next video.